Hey guys. We're back. Sorry we haven't made a video for a very long time. We'll say that because we don't know how long it's actually been. But sorry, we kind of got out of nerf. Probably about a year. Probably about a year. Okay, we'll say that. We, we kind of got out of nerf, but we're starting to get back into it. We got bored today, decided to mod something, and it turned out to be fun, so we decided to make a video out of it. So we're going to be back. You can expect more content from us soon, but today... Very soon. All right, that was creepy. All right, That's the idea. Today, we're going to be showing you my old XXL bazooka. I'm going to hold it up for you. XXL. All right. We modified it, narrowing down from several lengths of PVC until finally a half-inch coupler. The uh, original missiles can still fit over the barrel. They just kind of stick up like half an inch. No big deal. Original missile. Okay. Today, we're going to be firing a bunch of different stuff because, as you know, a lot of stuff can fit in a coupler. What do we got first? Uh, original. original missiles. We obviously. have all three of them. Um, previously, two of them had been damaged. <laughs> Hello. He smashed one with a hammer. He a shot hole, me. Made a hole in the side. That's why these ta uh, the tape is here. Uh, and then put, one of them was ripped in the back. We When we put the tape on it to actually, like... You done? No. <laughs> to fix the hole, we figured out it made it better because it gave it a tighter seal around the barrel, allowing less air to escape. And it actually made it fire a little bit better, so we just ended up putting tape on all three. Are you done playing with them? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, Moving on! Where the tape is, it's right on the end of the barrel, so it'll give it a tighter initial seal. That's what he's trying to say. Okay, original missiles. Then, we have the short CPVC barrel. It's about 9 inches with uh, tape rings on the end so that it can fit different missiles. This is from the uh, Secret Strike? Sure. I think. Yeah. We'll say that. Goes on there. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. This is from the Triple Strike, and it's one of the whistling missiles. I don't, know, whistle. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it whistle. But... I'll too. just make whistling noises. Whatever. Works. Okay. Next, we have Titan Barrel Attachment and a Titan Missile. Our Titan Missile is slightly modified. Um, the original fins were ripped off, so I made quarter-inch craft foam fins, and those are on there quite nicely. They were ripped off by me. And they're the exact same shape, so they fly really well. Adds a little extra weight, and it's actually better than the original one. You'll see in a little bit. Breaking stuff sometimes helps. I've learned that. He breaks a lot of my stuff. <laughs> and we have a 16-inch CPC <coughs> barrel. Just going to be shooting single darts out of this. I think we're going to fire like three. Stephens. Not all at once. Not all at once. Okay, yeah. Last barrel. This is a 22-inch segment of Schedule 80 PVC. And we're going to fit 12 darts in here and do a 12-round shotgun blast. We did this as a joke earlier, like not expecting it to do anything. But it actually turned out to be very effective. And it was hilarious. All right, so we're just kind of jump into this. Uh, I'm going to show you how to prime this, because I don't know if you guys know, because this is kind of a rare gun. Just look at our other video. Didn't we make a video of it? I think it was on my old account. Was it? Okay. Which, yeah. Watch Died. My, watch my first video. You'll find out about that. I broke that account. You can watch right here as these pretty colors spin, because I'm going to crank the handle. That's how you, you guys prime this. Pretty, pretty colors. Crank this about 15 times. And no... You can't overprime the gun because it locks because it's actually cranking an extension sprig in there. And obviously you can't overcrank that. Alright, so I'm gonna get back behind the camera, zoom in a little bit, and we're gonna fire down this hall. It's about we're about 35 feet away from that door. Alright. Missile. Missile? Which one? Original missiles. Original missiles first. All three of them. This is the <laughs> one with the big rip in it. To give you reference, this hallway is about 40 feet, but where we have... Did you already talk about that? Yeah, I already talked oh, about well, it. Well, I was spacing off my bed. That one hit the ground. Missile. I think this is the one you put a hole in. <laughs> Awkward. The only reason they're ricocheting all over the place is because they're hitting the door frame, so they're like bouncing off and just doing this. All right, we're next. Titan right. missile. Titan missile. Okay, this actually shoots a Titan missile farther than a Titan well, because it, it's pretty funny that it actually does. That. <coughs> and it actually shoots a Titan missile farther than it does its own missiles, which is also very funny. Do you want to shoot the arrows? Yeah. Arrows. As you can tell, I can prime this pretty fast. No, he doesn't. We're gonna shoot this one first. He has practice priming fast. Shut up. Get out. Shoot you in the face if you don't Better not. 
<laughs> that's an, spiraled like, like crazy. That's an offer in missile, so it's very inaccurate. Those missiles are awesome to shoot out of my tank expanded SSPBs, though. They go like 90 <laughs> feet. It's ridiculous. Do you even have a tank expanded SSPB anymore? Yeah, I have oh, two of them. Okay, cool. That one didn't go very far. No. Alright, um. You want this while I load the shotgun barrel? Yeah. Did you load it? No. You're firing. You should load it. You're fired. <laughs> Do you want a dart? I would love a dart, sir. <laughs> Here you go. Here's a dart. Oh, thank you. You're so helpful. Sorry, it won't, it won't go in. There's a dart. Push it in. Shut up. All right. Hey, look, I loaded the stuff in backwards. I'm going to move your head. Eh. I should probably make commentary from here when I'm firing so they have something to do. About what? We pretty much talked about the whole gun. The gun about. is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you, you <laughs> I, I don't want to take a shot from it, because uh, it's pretty terrifying. We, we haven't quite range tested it, but we're guessing over 100 feet. Just because it's meant to fire missiles about 50 feet, and since we're concentrating this into a dart blast, it's kind of ridiculous. And why we're not outside range testing. <laughs> we're not outside right now range testing because oh. it's snowing where we are, and we're fat and lazy, and we don't like snow. We're not fat. Yeah, we're not fat. He's but like, it's uh, snowing pretty hard, so that'd be kind of worthless. And cold as hell. And as some of you may not know, temperature can affect a gun, so it might actually lower... Messes with your seals, your yeah. barrel fits, your darts, messes up everything. That was all the single shots. Here we're going to do the 12 dot, twelve shot shopping. What should we talk about after this? I don't know. Stuff. All right, here comes the twelve-shot burst. It's crazy as hell. It pretty much clears the hallway, but it doesn't get very far. Maybe twenty-five feet. Twenty-five feet, probably. That's about it. But it's, uh, it's hilarious the way it does here. Oh, I forgot to zoom out. That would be helpful. Yeah, probably if you should do that. All right. So that was the XSL bazooka. Um, I don't think we really have any new stuff lately. We're gonna get there. We're gonna make some new stuff. Might have some new stuff coming in soon. You'll all see. We and, will be uh, back. We'll be back. We won't wait another year to post a video, I swear. Probably next week. We may do weekly videos again. But, uh, Probably see you guys. Probably not weekly. We'll say weekly, but they won't be weekly. They'll be weekly. Leave them alone. Maybe every other week. No. All right. See you guys later. Bye.